Alabama coming or Yeah, look at Alabama growing up. All right, welcome back to Player Guides. I am Cameron. I'm Tanner. Tanner's here walking me through the first parts of Timberborn. Um, we recognize that the game audio was too soft in the first episode, uh, but I want to make sure everyone can hear the lovely music. We're basically picking up where we left things off. I think I need to assign some priorities for the buildings we just built. Uh, so let's go ahead. Um, so Timberborn, we're a colony of beavers uh, in the post-apocalyptic landscape of... Does it give us a region or is it just like somewhere on Earth? I, it, I don't think it gives us a region. I would imagine it's where beavers naturally are. So, are now, know. that's a question. Do beavers exist outside of North America? I remember, like, the yeah. colonies' beaver trade was really big. I'm pretty sure there's European beavers. Let's let's look it up. Let's do some beaver facts today. Yeah, ooh, I would love some beaver facts. Okay. So we'll, we'll do some beaver facts. Let's see, first of all, are there European beavers? So, biofuel, catalyst, medicine, uh, wait, yeah, water. Eurasian beavers. I knew that. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd like to assume that we are, um, this is like, especially if it's, if there's, I guess, well, we, we got some mountains, we got some sort of ancient ruin over here. Yeah. Um... You know, it could be like a Pacific Northwest or uh, yeah, certainly, why not? We certainly were just something there. like Ontario, right? Or somewhere in Canada. Uh, that makes sense to me. All right, I think we can connect this path now. I think it's the other reason I really like this game is it speaks to my Canadian roots. Yeah, we're, we're Ontario beavers. I like That's it. Great. And then those two will chop down. And then it's time to finally build this dam. This dam, dam. All right, interesting beaver facts. Yes. Uh, eight facts to celebrate International Beaver Day. Ooh, when is International Beaver Day? International Beaver Day is... Loading on Google as we speak. Okay. Uh, April 7th is International Beaver Day. Oh, uh, we missed it. We sure did. Okay, so I'm, I'm giving the dam the highest priority now, because you, you mentioned that it'll take a little while. Yeah, so each one of those takes 20 logs to build, um, so it'll take them a little bit to, to build that. Yeah. You're also running pretty low on wood. You did mark those other ones to harvest, right? The ones in the bottom left? Yes. Okay, good. I don't need a path to those trees. You don't, but you might want to build one just so that, because they move faster on, on paths. Okay. All right. First beaver. So if fact. I click, you ready for this? Yeah. These aren't right. Uh, beaver teeth are orange. Beaver teeth are orange. Yeah. I. Uh, it's, not, it's not that exciting a fact. Yeah, I. I think I knew that. Um, so I got that. I got. I, I think I need to build more water tanks. Is what it's saying. Yeah, it wants you to build three of them. Three small ones. to that spot right there or do you already have one yeah okay, I, I built nice. them where I, I can stick a path beautiful um okay i'm pausing okay we were talking about fast forwarding while we um i guess is there anything i'm worried about before i start fast forwarding i don't think so let's let's do a little bit of fast forwarding yep you can always pause if things look uh Dangerous. Yeah, watch my levels while we hear more beaver facts. So, you're saying there are North American beavers and Eurasian beavers. Yep. Uh, beaver teeth are orange, yep. which is not interesting. But I think the second fact is pretty cool about how the like, teeth stay sharp because they're actually uh, have different hardnesses of the enamel. And it's in such a way that as it wears down, it always keeps a sharp edge. Oh, cool. it's like layered. Yeah, exactly. So, like the outer part of their teeth is harder than the inner part so as it wears down uh it always is going to keep a sharp edge that way interesting which is pretty nifty i think i realized i i need to build i need to prioritize the housing before the dam otherwise the dam will take even longer to build um i guess do i want to like plant more trees so you will eventually need to plant trees. So to do that, you'll need a forester. Uh, 
you might want to consider getting your inventor hut as higher priority. Oh, yeah. Because that'll start getting you some science. Because I don't think you can build a forester right now. What is this thing? That's storage. That'll just be normal. It wants you to set your water tanks to water. Uh, I thought I did. Well, I did. I, I just need to build the other two. Gotcha. Yeah. And those, I feel like they don't need to be a high priority right now with my population of beavers. Oh, let's just watch it run and listen to some beaver facts. So, um, have you... So, so they have different layers of enamel. Yep. They have um, the the flat, like long flat tail. Yep. The only other creature that shares that feature is the platypus. Uh, no, I think there's other like like muskrats kind of have flattish tails. They're a little skinnier, but I think they're also paddle esque. Oh, interesting. Um, so I don't think that's a, a unique thing to beavers. Beavers definitely have a wider, flatter tail than than most other creatures. And then they use it to like slap against water to. <laughs> I've got one one random piece of dam built. Yeah. I don't know how they skipped that one piece, but it looks like it's working. Yep. So they they're they're doing their job. Now uh, as that I... is a strange choice that they decided <laughs> to build that one. Yeah. I guess they're beavers, so they can um they they can get things uh uh. They, they can get in the water. I, I was going to ask, as the water level rises, did I fuck up by having my farm or path too close? I guess we'll learn. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you, that's going to be a restriction, right? In this area, you're not going to be able to get the water level higher than that, or it's going to flood your entire city. So what you could have done is built a levee across the entire perimeter there so that you can build this water level up higher. But I wouldn't worry about that now in the in the early game. That makes sense. Yeah, your beavers can so they're not like super intelligent oh. where they build stuff. They can trap themselves. Oh, nice! You got an inventor. Uh, doesn't look like I need to do anything there. No, they they just go in there. Uh, and oh, and I've shit. got a new beaver. Who's my new baby? Uh, a zebo. A zebo. Yeah. Uh, we okay. Um, first baby of the new colony. We're going to call them Tannerin. Beautiful. They shall be groomed to become the leader. <laughs> okay. And Give I've them got... an Aristotle. Yeah. So they'll one day become <laughs> leader of the beavers. Oh, what are you two lazy fucks doing? What are they doing? Uh, doesn't... What? Are they out of... Oh, are they out of berries? No, there's so, no. There's so many berries Is over the there. storage full if you click on the gather flag? Yeah, 20 of 20. Ah, okay. So then let's prioritize this. And we'll set... We were going to set this to berries, I think. Um, yeah, I think... I can't remember if the medium warehouse, if you can get multiple things in it. Carrots might be better, to be honest. Oh, how about your carrots? Do they need to be harvested? Um, Days to grow. There's still seedlings. Okay. How, where did you see that? Ah, uh, it just says. So this was like the first one planted. So that'll yeah. tell me if the rest of the thing's ready to go. Okay. Yeah. So I can, if this is full, can I kick you out of there? So no. if you pause the building, is the way you do that. Ah. Right now, you clicked on the beaver. You gotta click Damn on it. the. There you go. And then okay. You can pause them. And then they'll go build the. Um, Actually, why don't I build another storage? Nah, I guess that's that's off green space is the point. Go build it, you little fucks. Man, yeah, look at that. They're building that dam. It's coming along. Yeah. There we go. He said, so it takes a little while to, to build the dam, which is why I like getting started on it early. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, you'll also see on the left-hand side, there's a little like dried up pond that's recessed yes and you see there's something blocking it i could clear it you to could clear it if you click on it now i think you just click it to be demolished yeah and then that will fill with water little reservoir expand the green would it expand the green space out yep. a little further a little bit further yeah neat uh 
and I oh stairs. Can I do stairs now? Uh, how much science do you have? You have sixteen science. That's on the upper left. Do, do, do. Ah, I so see. So that's what uh, our little scientist has been researching. Not enough and science, how many science points. Still. Do you need for it? Seventy. Fuck. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess I'll do. My aesthetic! Oh, yeah, the green space went out. Yep. Beautiful. I guess that means, like, would it incentivize me at some point to push these houses out further? Potentially. Like, long term, you might think about putting the houses actually up on that, like, terrace. Yeah, once I can build stairs. <laughs> yep, once you can get stairs up there. Actually, there are natural stairs on the left hand side. Oh, look at that. Stone steps, so you could build paths to get up there that way. Interesting. So if they're that, fine right there for now. Yeah, and I don't want the storage to be super far away, so I guess I'll just build another medium storage. He... It's not going to fit in there. Well, yeah, you can get in there. You just got to get a path around. Stick that and stick nice. that. Yeah. Aladama coming around. Yeah, look at Aladama growing up. And look at that. See? Yeah, so you've definitely uh, harvested a bunch of the trees. Yep, and they're uh, regrowing. And you're now building up a log stockpile, which is nice. Yep. Uh, which is surprising with how much logs the dam takes up. Um, but, um, okay. So then... We're building the dam. We've got the the water spots marked, and they'll be built when they get... Oh, okay. It looks like time to harvest. Oh, they're already harvesting carrots. Nice. Um, soon this will need to... I guess I can... Oh, I can preset it to carrots. Mm -hmm. Fun. Okay. Um, I can you just connect... Need 70 science for the stairs. That feels like it's like my, my great limitation. <laughs> the beavers are sitting there scratching their heads. We need to get up. How, how do we get up higher? <laughs> how just we... one beaver in particular. <laughs> yeah. He's sitting in there. I imagine he's, you know, gnawing on a pencil end. Like, I don't understand. Oh, we got a new baby. Dor oh, I can't rename Dorky Raz. That is <laughs> an incredible name. Welcome to the world, Dorky Raz. What is a uh, uh, Tannerin doing? What's what's his job? Well, he's a baby. Oh, he's still a baby. He hasn't grown up yet. Yeah. God damn. They... All right. I didn't know. I didn't know if he was... I, mean, I feel like that one's better. You want the, the second end in there? Yeah. That's fair. Let, let, him, yeah. be a, let him be a kid. <laughs> let him enjoy <laughs> yeah. his youth before he has to work <laughs> 60 hours a day. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is, I, I mean, the nice thing that I've always liked about City Builder games is when you get into this kind of, it's not fully self-sustained, right? Yep. But when you get into the groove where it feels self-sustained and you can, um, do I, I guess I'm kind of at my water capacity, so maybe that should be a higher priority. Yeah. Um, when, you, when you get into the groove and you can just kind of watch it yep. happen is is pretty nice yeah this is a very chill game right yeah uh and like i said the biggest issue we're gonna have is when droughts start happening yeah and the way the game gets harder is that the droughts become more frequent and longer yeah so it starts off pretty chill uh i really enjoyed this game over covid uh, i think we were all searching for kind of chill relaxed games yes and this one definitely was a uh, a fun game to play during covid where it's just like i'm gonna build a nice little beaver colony and then it's just kind of fun to watch them run around and do these tasks. It's uh, It doesn't count as a city builder, but my COVID game was Animal Crossing, which has a lot of the similar... It's more... I think that game is more about aesthetics than engineering. Yep. Uh, but that similar thing. And then um, Slime Rancher was the other one. No good selected. What does that mean? Oh, uh, for oh, that just... one, yeah. So your tank needs to hold water. Got it. Eventually you can harvest things like maple syrup and fill tanks with that. Wow. <sighs> What could I do more efficiently? I think what we could start doing is, um, how much science is it for the forestry? Because we're going to need more trees really soon. In fact, you're running really low on trees. Yeah. What you might want to do is... Those, Pine? How much, uh, 
you need a forestry hut first. Oh, okay, okay. A building district management? No, it no. should be under, it was not under wood. Wood. Lumber mill? No. Forester, 60. Yeah, so okay. you need 60 for that. Uh, you will need a lumber mill to make planks. Can I assign another dude for science? Uh, yeah. No, you have to build another hut, unfortunately. Okay. Um, but what you could do right now, Cameron, is you're going to need more trees. There are more trees to the left. Yeah. And there's that natural staircase. True. So you might want to yeah, build pause a... some of your other lumber flags, put one up there, and get a path up to it. That makes sense. Uh, I'm going to build up on this anyway, so I can come up yep. and there all right and then yeah you could just dump it right there if you want because it'll will they harvest from dead trees uh, i believe so cool all right so, wood flag there i don't really need anything else oh i need to highlight these so click on the i would I guess I need to build it before I select what to be harvested. Uh, no, so you should be able to do the cut trees, which was in the bottom left, and just select all of oh, those right. to cut. Yeah, it's interesting that cut trees is like its own dedicated command, but... Um... There you go. I would move your lumberjack flag so that you don't need to demolish a tree to start building it. Oh, uh, that's like, a I good would point. Oh. Earlier on in the path, yeah, like there. Yeah, yeah. That way you don't have an extra step just to... It, they can build it right away. All right. Good. Yeah, so just escape out of this menu. And grab the lumberjack flag. Yeah. We'll cancel it. And we'll build you... Yeah, flip them around and then put them, like, there. Yeah. Yep. And then they can build it right away and get to chop it down more trees all right scurrying we'll give that a priority yep awesome and the guy comes right there <laughs> let's see i guess if i'm gathering berries and stuff if i'm up here anyway i'm, I'm going to um demolish these trees yeah, just in a line so that i can yeah. Yep, get a path through there eventually. Yep. Yep, makes sense. All right. And let's see. Oh, got a worker already. Perfect. How's oh. that dam coming along? Let's go take a look-see. It's coming slowly. Yeah. It is still a priority. Um, if I cancel out. Yeah, it looks like it's already starting to restrict the flow a little bit. So let's see. The only thing I'm really short on, it looks like, is wood. Yep. That, oh, I thought my water was paused for a second. I was like, that doesn't seem right. You could, how are oh, you? Oh, I got a bunch of babies all of a sudden. Holy shit. Uh, Azibo's grown. Zala's, uh, or Azibo's born. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, Ange, Macaulay, Zoli, Jin. Okay. What were we going to say? Uh, you might want to consider getting some more water then. Like yeah, that's second, what I was thinking of next. A second water pump might not hurt. Maybe in the same spot, or is it better to spread them out? Uh, I would put them, yeah, just side by side so they're next to the storage. Like, they're, there is perfect. Yeah. And then just make sure you get a path to it. Yep, yep. Do, do, do. It is a super peaceful game. Yep. I uh, I love it. It is very chill. Like I said, you don't have to worry about being attacked or raided by anything, so you're not building defenses. Um, and you can spend a, quite a bit of time planning out kind of your uh, your waterworks, your engineering masterpieces. Yeah. We have one small dam right now, but you can imagine, like, if we look upriver, at least this is what I have always done, is try and imagine what's the, the bigger, the next biggest dam that you can build yeah to make a reservoir like imagine flooding all that area like building a mega dam across there yeah did you ever play factorio uh i not really no i but it, it definitely is kind of that similar that same image. yes yes 
one of these resource management games, and there's a chain of production that you have, right? So you're gonna build logs to build planks. You oh, are we planks to build stopping gears. already? No goods and stuff. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing no to harvest. There. Yeah. Well, then let's pause those buildings. Yeah, if you've got people just sitting around doing nothing, pause them. I think you're good because you've all the carrots you have right now. Yeah. If anything, you might want to look and see what else you can plant eventually. I don't know. I think you probably need to make a beeline for forestry so you can start planting your own trees. Oh, I can do that now. Can you build a forester now? It looks like it. I got 60. Beautiful. Awesome. All right, plant. So we didn't get our stairs, but we did get a forester. Yeah. Yeah, I could build it here. And then just fill that entire area in with trees. I guess if I build it here, it's about the same amount of demolishing. All right. And then you'll go to plant trees, and we'll have to make some decisions on what trees to plant. Awesome. All right, so go to plant trees. Yes. All right, so if you look at the trees, there is, you can one, you can plant berries, so go to the far left. We'll go kind of one by one. You can plant those blueberry bushes. I wouldn't do that. Yep. Because we need trees. Dandelions, you can plant as well. The trees are- What do, the, what do dandelions do? Uh, they, um, you can use them to make types of food, like they can eat dandelions. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but we need trees. So yeah. what's interesting about the trees is they'll have different growth rates. Yep. So you can see the birch is the fastest and produces the least amount of wood. Yep. Um, chestnut trees will also produce chestnuts that you can roast and get food from. If I start early, like now, do I just want to start on oak? What I would recommend is doing a little bit of pretty much everything. Oh, okay. That way you've got some diversity. If you do all oaks right now, it'll take way too long to get all of them. If you do all birch trees... So this is a pine forest right now, it looks like. Everything's yeah. pine. But what I do is, like, make rows. So you might want to make, like, three rows of birch trees. Yeah. And then three rows of maples next and, to them. And I don't need paths for the trees. Nope, just put them in this area. All right. The same way you did your, your crops. Just so start to fill it in a spot. Yep. Gotcha, okay. What I would do, though, the cameras, I'd drag them, like, all the way down. Just uh, my birches, three columns, yeah, like that. Okay. And then I would put in another row of pine trees right next to that. Oh, well, I guess thing. I don't need to plant pine trees because those will regrow. Or... I would put them in. So the nice thing about designating them is that the uh, the beavers are very good sustainable farmers. Oh, nice. So they will chop down trees and then replant them. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. There you go. And that I could do even though I haven't even built the building yet. Yeah, you're just planning it out. Cool. Okay, so what else? We got some stuff paused on berries and carrots. I guess I kind of want to make this a priority so I can gather. Like, does the variety of food matter? A variety of food will matter. Um... Berries, it's nice to have them, but ultimately you're going to want to get more agriculture going. Okay, okay. So it doesn't hurt to get those berries now just to get some early diversity. I wonder if I clear this out and build more farm here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So you will need a second farmhouse. And yes. usually what you want is one of them set to planting and one of them set to harvesting. Yep. And then you get them close, you build them close enough to each other so that they interact with the same area. Oh, I see. I so see. instead of building two disparate farmhouses that are far apart, I would build another one right if, next to that one. If I'm building, if I'm building, if I'm not building, if I'm planting trees over here, do I clear out the trees here and just turn this all into yep, farmland? That's what I would do. Yep. Sweet. I think that is a smart play, and that way you consolidate your, your different resources. And then those gatherer flags you can rip up, because they are going to be useless there. Yep, yep. Though you might want to keep one of them just to collect the berries on the far left for a little bit. It doesn't uh, hurt to keep berries going along. Well, I was thinking of building a gathering flag over here that'll cover both of these bushes. Yep, that works. Do I, does, does ripping up the flag destroy the resources? No. Uh, far left to demolish it. Oh, that's instant. Yep. Yeah, the the workers don't need to go and actually demolish it. Awesome. Can I undo 
paths? Uh, yes, I think it's just in the demolished buildings. All right, then let's do gather flag. Let's make sure you rotate into the yeah. path. Yep. Why not build another inventor house? Yep. Just to, if nothing else, just to mark the spot for it. We need to build stairs. Damn it! <laughs> How do we get stuck higher? On this lower level. <laughs> get the best beaver brains working on it. Yeah. So do I need to? I need select an area for the. Oh, okay. It already covers those. Yeah, I think berries. we figured out the berries automatically. Uh, we'll gather them. Oh, hold on. I want to cancel that. I want to build my flag just a little. Where where can I cover? Oh, interesting. Okay, if I put my flag here. Okay. Oh, because I see this is a bottleneck. That that. Yeah, I mean they have to. I can. Further. I'll build stairs at some point that'll let me get to those berries. Yeah. And maybe it'll extend if you get the path a little bit further down towards those berries. That might help. I want them, Tanner. I want these berries. Paths are free to build. All right. So let's see. Ah ha ha ha! Hurt. You're right. Okay. So what do, what do we got? We are our dam is about half built. It has been it's still the first cycle. I assume cycles like a month, thirty days, or something, or is it a year? Uh, I think cycle's supposed to be like a year. Interesting. Yeah. We're we're I think we still haven't built our forestry thing. Still waiting. I, I see. We're we're kind uh, of. We need planks for it actually. Ah. Ah. So we missed that. We'll need to get some planks. We so have logs. Have logs. We need to build a mill. Yes, now we get we introduced to power. So I wouldn't put it there. Okay. Uh, because we need uh, power to the lumber mill. Yes. Uh, the way to get power is there's two ways early on. One is a water wheel, and the other one is like literally like a hamster <laughs> wheel. Gotcha. That you can put the beavers in. <laughs> well, um, we've got our dam. Can I make a section of the dam a water wheel? Um. I wouldn't right now, but the the river does flow in that direction. Yeah. So I would put the lumber mill, at least for the time being, maybe eat up some of the space that is later going to be farmland, like in that southern little peninsula. I would butt it up against the water there and then put the water wheel down there. Got it. Perfect. That's yellow instead of green. We need a path to it. Oh, okay, okay. So, That's okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so then I would get a path to your lumber mill. I guess let's... This would be pretty fast to clear out, I think. I think so. All right. Wake up, you lazy beavers. That's right. Ring that morning bell. Yeah. Get up. Um, I do love how they just burst. Yeah, out. move, move, move. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, so what's what am I competing on priorities? It's just the Forester Hut, and I Which can't build it right now. Yeah. Um, the water wheel, they might not be able to build unless they can get in the water, where you may need stairs to get into the water. Gotcha. I'll set that to all slightly If you go higher. to the path, can you build a... Um, a platform yet? No, you need science for that too. So much science! <laughs> it's interesting, I kind of assumed that science, it was like thresholds, but like you spend science and you have to go back down instead of just have it be yep. like... Yep, so what a lot of people will do is they'll build a ton of inventors huts and then during the drought... They'll kill all their inventors? Uh, no, no, other way around. The drought is when you have, you fill them all up. It's like having a, a summer job. Because uh, you can imagine that when the drought happens, you don't want a bunch of people pumping water. Yeah. Because once you'll use up your entire reserve. So it ends up being that inventors are a good thing to do while there's a drought when you've got extra people just kind of sitting around. That makes sense. And by people, I mean, you know, beavers. Okay. So now the this is our... I guess I don't super care about 
those. Yeah. I don't need you to fucking <laughs> uproot that one tree. Yeah, get over there. Build that windmill. That lumber mill. Okay. So, we're How farming. Have you been doing this uh, the second one here? Oh, shit. Time flies. You're having fun. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, we're going to call this an episode. Uh, again, and this is more like it's almost stream energy. It's it's chiller, uh, but it's nice. Um, this is our second episode of Timberborn, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Adios.